Come on, follow me for a magical adventure. Hi, welcome. I'm in Staunton, Virginia at the Queen City Mischief and Magic Festival, Harry Potter themed festival. You never know what you're going to find here. From musical skeletons? Look behind me, it's a Hagrid sighting. To celebrity appearances. You never know who you'll run into. From the good, to the bad, to the house elves. <laughs> the stories come alive at this magical event. I'm Christy Evers, your vacation retreat and conference specialist. If you love travel, you need to subscribe to my channel for travel tips, hacks, reviews, and deals. Speaking of deals, I'm wondering if you or someone you know would be interested in attending this festival in 2021. As a travel agent, I'd love to put together a package deal with hotels, activities, and other goodies, but first I need to know if there's enough interest. So let me know in the comments and join my Facebook group. Queen City Mischief and Magic is a three-day festival. There's too much to put in just one video, so today we're going to focus on day one and how to prepare. The entire downtown area gets involved with tons of activities and things to do and see, and there are plenty of free events and some worth paying admission. Before you go, I highly suggest going to their website to download their map key and event lists. They have free maps. Although they have free maps and guides at the festival, it's a good idea to highlight your favorite events in advance and plan your day based on the activity times. You don't want to miss out on your favorites. Most events take place on Saturday, which is day two, but there's still plenty of magical fun to be had on day one. Before you go, you'll want to think about what you want to wear. Of course, you can dress like a muggle if you want, but it can be extra fun to dress in costume or make your own shirts like I did for myself and my daughter. And if you want to bring your furry four-legged or, or um, eight-legged friends, you're welcome to bring them too, even if they have three heads. Don't worry about the monsters, they make great selfie spots. These selfie spots where you can get some epic selfies. There's great selfie spots located all over downtown. Browse through quaint local shops. Enjoy the live music. Enjoy browsing or, or even purchasing some of the special items made just for this festival. Browse the bookstore with your fellow Hogwarts classmates. Check out the local vendors. So they have well Quidditch matches. Get a balloon animal while you check out a Quidditch match. Looks like they're preparing for the Quidditch match.
this community piano is all kinds of fun and open for anyone to play. You never know, you might get people to sing along. <laughs> this festival is great for all ages. One of the most unique and fun free activities that can really take up the entire three days is going on a scavenger hunt for playing cards. All right, so can you explain to me how the cards work? Yeah, so we're from Alley and Care right now. It turned into Dragon's Alley. Um, so if you see a sign like this big brown one, some stores have it, some stores do um, They have a different card. So right now you're on Slytherin Block. You can tell by looking at the light. So it has the color. Where like down there is like um, Gryffindor, Pink, and then so it might be a little okay. far away. Okay. But um, so each store that has one of these just has a different number, and then it adds up to a deck of cards. So it's kind of like a, a deck of cards that you can help remember like when you came here and stuff. So okay. that's really fun. Great. So it's like a scavenger hunt mm -hmm. for cards. Great. Yeah, and there's also people dressed up that have player cards um, as well from like different characters that you can find too. Okay, great. Thanks yeah, so much. No problem. It's a lot of fun to just explore the city and collect your playing cards. Oh hey, I found card. Come here. We gotta get... Just in case you have trouble finding your whole deck, there's a checklist to keep track of what you have and let you know where to find your missing cards. There were some activities available for an extra cost, like a cave tour and a magic gem mine, but we only took part in the free activities our first Posted. See you next time. Bye-bye.